Hey you and welcome. I'm Mr. Barry. In this whole video, we're going to be talking about the trim line phone here, the Model 210 from AT&T. Now, even though it does say AT&T on it, it does work with any landline service provider that you may have. You may wonder why in the world would someone who's really focused on the newest technology like EVs and computers and all that, why would I be looking at a phone from the 1980s? Come and dance on our floor. Take a step that is new. Well, there's a good reason for this. Right now, when you have a current phone, uh, even a landline phone that's plugged into the wall for power and also plugged into your landline, when the power goes out, the phone doesn't work. But this phone here, which I'll have a link to it down in the description, it actually works when there's no power to the house. So when there's all the lights are out and there's no power, the phone will still work because it receives all of its power from the landline. And that's it. There's no batteries in it and there's no other things to plug in. All right, so let's take a look at this phone, you and I. Come on. So this AT&T Trimline telephone comes with a 13 number memory. It has a redial function and one touch memory buttons. Comes with a backlighted keypad and a flash function to dial the previous number. And 10 speed dial numbers that you can program into it. It also comes with a mute button. Along the side we find the volume control for the headset. So here we see it goes loud and softer according to where you place it. And down in the lower left hand corner of the keypad we also have the ability to change the ringer. We can have it off, low or high. In the center we see the program button that also functions as the mute button. And on the last button here it can generate a touch tone. And this telephone will work for with internet phones or VoIP as well as regular landline connections. It doesn't require any AC power supply. So all of the power is coming from the phone line itself. This is true whether it's a landline or an internet phone. It comes with these connectors and the base and the top. It is very simple to use. This is a typical connector that's been around for a very long time. So on the base you actually have the connection right there. So to plug it in all you have to do is line it up and then press it in and it will snap and be locked in place. So all we got to do is line this up and plug it in and it's nice secure connection. Okay with this all I got to do is line it up and then it's nice that you can wrap this around. And you can feed the line all the way through the top where it has a little opening. And after connecting to your landline, the phone is ready to use. And the base comes with rubber feet so it doesn't scratch up your wall or your desk. These feet also help it stay in place. Now one thing I would like to mention is that this phone does weigh less than the old traditional trim line phones from 1980. The phone from 1980 would weigh in for the base at 128 grams. This base weighs only 54 grams, so it's about half the weight. The headset is about similar in weight. With the old 1980 phone headset coming in at 83 grams, and the brand new Trimline headset weighing in at 79 grams. So the headsets are about the same. You won't really notice the difference there. But the base being half the weight, that would be noticeable. Now the reason why it's so much lighter is because it does not use the old style mechanical ringer. It's using an electronic ringer. Now speaking of the ringer, the ringer has three settings. Off, low, and high. Let's hear the low sound now. Yeah. 
Now let's listen to the ringer set to high. Now if you wish to mount this on the wall, the distance between the two holes is 8 centimeters or about 3 and 3 twentieths of an inch. To install the telephone on the wall jack, you must reverse the small tab beneath the directory card. This tab holds the headset in place when you want to hang it up. Remove the directory card and plastic cover. Use a paper clip to lift and remove the headset tab. Then simply reverse the tab and reinstall it, as seen here. After filling in your directory card and reversing the headset tab, the rest is a snap. Step number three, plug in the line cord into the jack on the underside of the base. Step four, install the telephone base right on the wall jack and then set the dial mode switch. Then connect the headset to the telephone and check for a dial tone. This trim line phone looks very nice on the wall and holds the headset very secure. The phone does come with instructions on how to set up the one touch dialing, memory functions, and the speed dialing. And now for the voice quality over the headset. It is excellent. I was able to hear perfectly and the people I were talking to heard me perfectly as seen here. And now for the price. On Amazon you can usually find these anywhere between 12 to just shy of $20. Hey, so there you have it. You now know more about the Trimline phone here, the Model 210 from AT&T. Now, um, as you heard there, it has a very good ringer on it. It has good voice. I've been using it and testing it out there. It works beautifully. And what's really nice is you can hang, hang it on the wall or put it on the desk there wherever you need it. So I do recommend it and it is a great little phone there. Hey, if you like these types of videos, please give it a thumbs up, share the video, comment down below because I love to read your comments. If you have an idea for a future video, leave that down in the comments as well. All right, I want to say thank you to all those who are sharing my videos on their social platforms there. And you all have a very good day. Bye-bye.